So the company I selected for the mission statement assignment is Under Armour. And even though I'm wearing Adidas, I am a huge Under Armour fan, so that's why I chose the company. And a little bit of background and overview of the company. It was founded in 1996 by Kevin Plank. And in their first year in business, they made $17,000 in profit. And in 2014, they were valued at over $15 billion. So they must be doing something right. And the idea originated with Kevin Plank and his frustration with cotton t-shirts as he was playing athletics in college. And he wanted to come up with some type of outfit that he could wear that sweat wouldn't stick to and that he could feel faster and quicker. And Under Armour's current mission statement is, Under Armour's mission is to make all athletes better through passion, design, and the relentless pursuit of innovation. And that was found on Mission Statement Academy. So analyzing their mission statement based on the nine char characteristics we discuss discussed in class, the first characteristic is customers. And in their mission statement, they don't necessarily get direct with who their customer is, but they do mention athletes, which is pretty well done. And it gives a broad enough view that people can figure out who they're trying to appeal to. The second one is products or services. And in their mission statement, they say, they don't say exactly what they sell. So they could improve on that and just mention maybe what they're innovating or what they're designing for their athletes. And number three is the market. And they pretty clearly state that they're in the, in the athletic market based on them mentioning right away that their mission is to make all athletes better. And they're also in the market of innovation. And for technology, they again aren't very specific in what they're talking about in terms of technology, but they do say the relentless pursuit of innovation, which I think that they could go in a little bit more detail on what type of innovation they're doing and what technology they're using to innovate. And number five is the survival, growth, and profitability. They again don't really mention anything about it, but they say the relentless pursuit, so people could maybe imply that that means that they have plans of pursuing a future and continuing to grow. But again, I think they could change the wording a little bit just to make it more clear that they do plan on being around for a long time. And number six is philosophy. And they mention phrases, make athletes better. They have passion and they're on the pursuit of innovation. So that sort of talks about their beliefs and values, but I think that they could do a better job of mentioning what exactly that their core values are and what they're going to stand by. And number seven is self-concept and what gives them the competitive edge over their competitors. And again, they use the words passion, design, and pursuit of innovation. In particular, I think the design is a pretty good word to just show what their competitive advantage is. But like the other, most of the other ones, they don't mention a specific advantage they have over their competitors. And number eight is concern for public image. And they don't really mention anything at all about that. So I think that they could consider adding that, but at the same time, I don't necessarily think that they would need to just because of the type of company they are. Being in athletics, I don't think they would necessarily need to need to expand on how they're helping the environment and stuff like that. And number nine is the concern for employees. And like number eight, it's not mentioned at all in the mission statement. And you can see in my revised mission statement, how I include the employees in there. So my revised mission statement is that Under Armour's mission is to lead the charge in the innovation of athletic equipment to give athletes all over the world the tools they need to compete at the highest level. We and our beloved employees will never stop the fight in con consistently using brand new technology to give both us and our athletes the edge over all the competition. So just real quick, the nine characteristics and how I use them in my new mission statement. For customers, I liked how their current mission statement used athletes. So I again included athletic equipment and athletes and athletes again, just to continue to express how they're trying to appeal to athletes. Products or services, um, in their old mission statement, they talked about just the design and weren't exactly specific. So I decided to add the innovation of athletic equipment 
just to be more specific in what they're exactly making or producing. And then for markets, I talked about the athletics, athletes, again, like number one, it kind of goes hand in hand with the customers. And for technology, in their current one, I wanted to change the wording a little bit to be more direct. So I said that they um, are using brand new technology to give athletes and their themselves the edge over all competition. And for number five, survival, growth, and profitability, I added the phrase that they will never stop the fight consistently using brand new technology. And I did this just to show that they don't have any plans of slowing down or stopping and that they're going to continue on the journey of making better equipment. Philosophy, um, I just used most of the wording from their current mission statement about innovation and highest level and technology competition and just kept it pretty much the same as what their original statement was. And then for self-concept and the competitive advantage, I added the last sentence of using brand new technology to give both us, the company, and our athletes the edge over all competition, just to really drive home what their, what their advantage is over their competition. And then concern for employees, I just added the simple statement, beloved employees, just to include the employees and show that they're an important part of the company. So that's how I changed Under Armour's current mission statement which overall wasn't too bad compared to some of, the, some of the ones we looked at during class and added some of the nine characteristics and changed some wording to include most of the nine into their new mission statement.